Welcome to vlog number four of Brick Slayer. Show you what I got today. I uh, got this off Facebook. Been having good luck on Facebook Marketplace lately. The Dark Side Developer Kit. It's a Mindstorms one. 578 pieces. I paid 40 bucks for it. And it has all the books are in good condition. Got all the pieces, the motor part, everything. Well, let's see how much it parts out for. Look at that, $113 for a six month average. So that's pretty good. The other thing, I got a funny story for you. So if you watch uh, Chris from Great Brick Lab, I sent him one of these printers. Uh, I actually, I got two of them. I was using one for three months. And then this is the newest one, which I fixed on the live stream. So I sent him the one I was using because I knew that one worked because I was using it for three months. And then when he got it, he tried to use it and he, something happened in shipping and it got shook around and it quit working. So he sent it back. So I was testing it out and testing it out and I couldn't get it to work and I was getting pissed. So I was like, you know what? I'll just put it in the closet, sell it for parts later or something. And then uh, I'll just, whatever, not deal with it. So I yesterday, James from Brick Junkies was like, hey, I'm going to get a printer. And I was like, hey, let me send you one. I got a couple laying around. So I grabbed it out of the closet, set it over here. So I had two of them. Set it right here, and I opened, opened this one up, which was the one that came out of the closet. And it turns out the one I put in the closet was the one that worked. And somehow the one I was using that wasn't working decided to work the next day. <laughs> and I was using the broken one the whole time. I had no idea. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? So I printed a label out last night and they both printed perfect. So I don't know what the deal was, Chris, but James is going to get it now. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny. So I mistakenly somehow fixed it without knowing, but all right. Uh, that's it for this spot, which I got on Black Friday from Target for $17.99. Originally they were $30. So I got those in the store. It's a cool little alien there. And then if you were on the Brick Slingers on last Sunday, I ordered labels on UPS.com for free. So I got another giant roll. So today's Wednesday and I ordered them Sunday night. So this came like within three days. It's crazy. Got that. And then I also got the 6,000 fan fold labels, which you can get if you have a PayPal account set up with the UPS. If you have eBay, they won't allow you to get these, but it's just the fan fold ones. There's two huge piles. So this should last me probably, I don't know, five years or something. <laughs> it's a big box. So yeah. Get yourself some free labels. All right. The bulk Lego ready to go to the sorter and come back sorted. And if you're interested in uh, buying used bulk Lego, contact me. I got the hookup. Time to change oil on this bad boy. This is why it's nice to have a Subaru. Because the oil filter is right up on top here. Everybody gets it open. Oh my. There we go. Give that a little turny turn. It drains. And then we need our fancy, fancy device here. I have a Famoto valve on my Subaru. Fomoto is F O M O T O. Ooh, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. So let's see here. See the valve there? 
pop the safety clip off. See safety clip. Pop that off. And then we're gonna attach the hose. Hose down into the bucket. It's a little chilly because it's like 30 degrees out here. So I'll set this down. I just turned the valve. Turn the valve and it just drains right down into the bucket. No mess. <laughs> These valves run like $30 on Amazon, but they are wonderful. You don't have to deal with taking a plug out anymore or any of that crap. And then once it's done, see I can literally just set it here now because it's, it warmed up the hose. You just flip the little valve back, pull the hose off, put the safety clip on, and then spin the filter off on top. Put a new one, oil change is done. Take you like five minutes. The best thing to eat right here is jelly bellies. Got like a pound of the uh, butter popcorn. So good. The other thing I got here is package from someone on the Brickslinger Discord. Hmm, what do we got here? Ooh. A Brickhead Statue of Liberty. I think this is used, he said, but it's complete, so we're gonna give it away on Sunday. I don't know if this will make it out in time, but I'll try, so. Stay tuned in for tomorrow, Sunday, and uh, we'll give this away for free. It's pretty nice of him. And it's from 50 caliber bricks. All these tires he said were new, but he was having issues with locating the right size of rims and tires. So I'm not sure what the deal was, but said they were new. I have a bunch, so I'll just add them to my store. I have the hiccups. That's really annoying. So, got these all for a dollar. Woo! What a deal. One dollar holla. But yeah, so if you need rims or tires, I'm going to have them listed in a few days. So, all right, guys, we're back. Partying out some of the haunted fairground. Uh, kind of redid my work area here. So the part out table. Uh, I added a computer screen to it. I had two over here, but it wasn't really fitting. So I was just on the live stream with Great Brick Lab. So this place is a disaster. Uh, these are the 12 haunted haunted uh, fairground sets party out right now. And then the gar garbage mess. Uh, but the other thing I want to show you is, so we have some mice because it's like getting cold out here now. It's like 15 degrees at night and they tend to come in in the fall. So I've trapped a couple, but I was wondering, can you catch m a mouse with a Lego brick? So look at, I glued it on there so it doesn't come off. So definitely on there. So I'm going to go put it in the laundry room. Because I don't have any mice in the Lego room. I have them in the laundry room. I think they come in through a hole somewhere. I'm going to have to find it. But I'm also going to put a camera up there so we can watch it. So you guys can see if I actually catch one with a Lego brick. Okay? So stay tuned for that. I'll post it after this if I catch one. Got a package here from Lego. 
see what it is. I ordered some bricks and pieces, but there's no way it would get here this fast, I don't think. Nope. What is this? Oh, <laughs> forgot I ordered these. Look at this. Huge box for three poly bags. Really, Lego? You couldn't, like, put these in a poly bag? Come on. Yeah, I had to order three to uh, get free shipping, so... Apparently they sent me these, the rest of the parts will come in like a month or something, but I'm just going to part these out, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Have me some lunch. Mm, look at that. Yeah, perfect. Frozen pizza. Mm-mm. I'm going to eat that whole damn thing with some Frank's hot sauce. What's up, guys? I ordered these cups for sorting used Lego. Uh, you get a 100 pack of 24 ounce crystal clear plastic cups for $18.99. It's cheaper than, I think Amazon might be $16.99, but the other item I ordered was way cheaper on here. So, so they're pretty good size. They're like the ones you get at a restaurant, the big ones, but I thought those would work good for sorting used Lego because they're clear and they're tall. So yeah, check those out. This is, they're just like the ones you get from Starbucks, kind of. $18.99 on Walmart.com. The other thing I got was a digital microscope for looking at the small part numbers. Uh, this is the 1600 times magnification. No, oh, it's $15.59 right now. It's like 23 on Amazon, but I think it should work good. I got my dad one of these a while back for looking at the dates on coins because he collects coins. So it just hooks to your computer or your phone and you can look at stuff. So that should be sweet. Uh, the, and then I had to get one more item, otherwise I had to pay shipping. So I got some candy Werther's, right? Because I had to pay, it was like two more dollars I needed. So I ordered some candy because everybody knows I eat lots of candy. And they actually had someone drive it to me from the local store. So I ordered this last night on Thursday. Today's Friday. They drove it to me, dropped it off by 10 o'clock the next day. Let's see here. So I'm not sure how they make any money when they, this costs $2.18 and they paid someone to drive it here in their personal car from Walmart, but I don't know. Somehow they're making money, I guess. Eh, we'll try them out, see how good they are. Alexa, show me kill cam number three. Okay. Isn't that fancy? 